We couldn't find anything that had puffed caps on it to show you today, so instead I will turn this into a puffed cap by hooking it up the wrong way. I have uh, with me my bench power supply here. If I need to supply current to a piece of gear to test it and I don't have a regular power supply, this is what I'll use. Today, I'm gonna use it the wrong way. I'm going to hook up this cap backwards on it. So I've brought this protective jar glass to put it in for protection. I'm gonna hook up the positive, the red to the positive and the black to the negative on my power supply. I have the positive side from the power supply hooked up to the negative side of my capacitor and I have the negative side hooked up to the positive side of the capacitor, which is just the bad, the opposite charge. It's not what it's looking for. I'm gonna give it too much volts. I'm going to exceed its voltage and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Here we go, I got it in here. It's not touching anything else. We're protected because there's this nice glass jar. It's a small cap, it shouldn't be too explosive. All right, so I'm gonna turn on my power supply here. There it goes. And that's what happens. This is the magic smoke that gets let out of your capacitor. I gave it some voltage, gave it a bunch of current, just let it do its thing. That was too much for it. It didn't like it. That's what happens when you put your caps in backwards. Sometimes it's a lot more explosive. You'll hear a pop. That one kind of hissed and just leaked out the top of it. This was a less explosive way, which is honestly really nice about these newer ones is that they do just split at the top and leak everything out and it's in a gas form versus the old ones when they would explode, the stuff inside would get all over everything. They still can with these ones if it's explosive enough. And that stuff that would leak out, the physical stuff, not just the gas, when that gets on things, it's conductive and it can cause everything else to go bad and you'll end up with that $5,000 problem. 